Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, what is nightmare disorder? So nightmare disorder takes certain instances, certain groupings of nightmares, and classifies it as a mental health disorder. But there are a lot of rules, there are a lot of criteria for someone having nightmares to be converted into an actual disorder. So let's take a look at the criteria for nightmare disorder. There are five criteria in the DSM diagnosis of nightmare disorder. And the first one involves repeated occurrences of nightmares. And these nightmares need to be extended in length and extremely dysphoric. So they cause a lot of anxiety, agitation, frustration, fear. So in theory, this would disqualify some nightmares. Not all nightmares would qualify under this criterion. And again, there need to be repeated occurrences. Now the second criterion is that someone becomes rapidly oriented and alert after waking up from a nightmare. So specifically, the type of nightmares that are being referred to in the DSM are those that somebody wakes up from. The DSM discusses nightmares that occur where somebody doesn't wake up, and those are actually classified as bad dreams. And really, they're not classified at all. They're just referred to as bad dreams. And there is no bad dream disorder. So if a nightmare occurs and a person doesn't wake up from that nightmare and they recall details of it later on, then it wasn't a nightmare in terms of what we think of a nightmare disorder. Now, this second criterion, the criterion where someone is oriented quickly once they wake up, helps us differentiate nightmare disorder from non-REM sleep arousal disorder. And non-REM sleep arousal disorder has two types, sleepwalking and sleep terror. And oftentimes there's confusion between nightmare disorder and the sleep terror type of non-REM sleep arousal disorder. So this second criterion helps us differentiate because in non-REM sleep arousal disorders, someone is not oriented and they don't wake up easily. With nightmare disorder, they are rapidly oriented when they wake up. The third symptom criterion is that the disturbances, the nightmares, cause clinically significant distress. The fourth is that substances are not responsible for the nightmares, so they're not better explained by substance usage. And the last criterion is that coexisting mental health disorders or medical disorders don't better explain the primary complaint of nightmares. Now, as I mentioned, nightmare disorder can be confused with non-REM sleep arousal disorder. Nightmares occur only during REM sleep, so most of the time in the second half of the sleep episode. Now, now REM sleep does occur throughout the entire night, not just the second half, but in the first half, usually there's shorter periods of REM sleep. And again, nightmares usually occur in a more extended form, so in the longer period of REM sleep in the second half of the night, second half of the major sleep episode. There are a number of specifiers associated with nightmare disorder. What's particularly interesting about the specifiers here is that what we think of as severity is divided up really into two sets of specifiers. So duration and frequency are separated in the specifiers for nightmare disorder. So in one set of specifiers for severity, we have duration. And technically, the severity specifiers are actually for frequency. But again, there's two sets here. So under duration, there's acute, subacute, and persistent. And this is based on how long someone has had the episodes. So how long they've had the nightmares, the repeated nightmares. One month or less is acute. One to six months is subacute. And greater than six months is persistent. Now for frequency, here's where we see the traditional severity specifier, mild, moderate, and severe. And this is based on the number of nightmares that occur in a week. If it's less than one time per week, that's mild. If it's greater than once a week, but not nightly, that's moderate. And if it's nightly, that's severe. Nightmare disorder affects children more than adults and females more than males. And it's not really clear what causes nightmare disorder, although we know there are a few factors that tend to be associated with it. 
sleep deprivation or fragmentation, some medications, and an irregular sleep schedule. Those items and a few other items have been connected to nightmare disorder. But again, we really don't know the cause. We do know that it's associated with a number of mental health disorders, like post-traumatic stress disorder, insomnia disorder, personality disorders, schizophrenia, and a few others. But unless the nightmares themselves, that disturbance, requires independent clinical attention, the diagnosis of nightmare disorder is not given in addition to other mental health disorders. So the difficulties associated with the repeated nightmares would need to be independently treated. It had to be viewed separately as needing separate attention in order to receive the diagnosis of nightmare disorder. One exception would be with post-traumatic stress disorder, nightmare disorder can still be diagnosed at the same time if the post-traumatic stress disorder is not responsible for the nightmares. If there is remission from the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder or those symptoms have been resolved and nightmares still continue independently, then the diagnosis would be given. When nightmares occur repeatedly, whether a diagnosis of nightmare disorder is given or not, it is associated with a substantial increase in suicidal ideation and suicide attempts. So when individuals have frequent nightmares, even controlling for gender and the presence of other mental health disorders, suicidal behavior increases dramatically. So nightmare disorder is a serious disorder and just repeated nightmares in general, even if someone doesn't qualify for the diagnosis, is serious. It does cause a serious disturbance in mood, and it can lead to a variety of other problems. So it does necessitate clinical attention. I hope you found this description of nightmare disorder to be interesting. Thanks for watching.